so in this video i am going to show you how to add the ichimoku cloud indicator to your metatrader 5 that is your mt5 when you are at the chart this is where you go for the chart tap on your screen that will bring out these options for you i am going to click on this particular one and you will click on it you can see you can add anything to your main chart and also to your indicator window the ichimoku cloud indicator is added to the main chart so i am going to click the plus sign that f plus that you are seeing over here i'm clicking it you are going to see it under the trends is a trend following indicator make sure that you use it only on a trending market now the name you could see it's ichimoku kinko hyo that's in japan but the common ones that people know is ichimoku cloud indicator you can click on it and you have your settings here now i will advise you why you should not alter any of these numbers or the settings because many people that are using this ichimoku indicator they don't alter it if you go and alter it be rest assured you will be trading different from what other people are trading so it's best to your own interest not to alter any of this number in trading it is more of who wins between the buyers and the sellers you don't want to go against what others have known already because if you are using the same strategy as they are using and you want to trade differently you will end up with losses you need more people to support your strategy in order to win so do not alter any of these settings apply it to all the time frames such that even for five minutes you can use it for scalping or 15 minutes for day trading or four hours for swing trading the things that i would advise you to change are the lines so you can change the thickness of the lines depending on how you want them so when you reduce this it reduces the thickness of each of these lines that is how to edit it so for this i am going to change this lagging span this is the lagging span this chico span that is the lagging span you can increase the thickness this up and down as well the up you can increase it the down you can increase as well so for the down you can decide to use the red color instead and for the up you can decide to use this green but it's a deep green whereas for the down we are using red so for this particular one i am going to set it as blue that is the one that will give us this is like the signal line if you see it up then it means it's bullish and you are supposed to buy whereas this other one is the standard line so i will change the standard line to something like black i will change it to black whereas this up and down they are okay everything is set now i will now click save and you go back to your chart and here we are we have it this is our ichimoku cloud indicator it has been added to our mt5 chart it may seem confusing for you in the first place but i have explained this completely in a video the video will appear at the top right hand corner you can click and go and watch it however i am going to briefly explain the function of each one for you and i will show you how you can take a trade with it this green line that you are seeing is the lagging indicator this is our green cloud this is our red cloud now we now have this blue line when it is up above the black line it means we have a bullish trend so we are expected to be buying so we have our baseline which is the black line 
So when the conversion line is above the baseline, we are in a bullish market. We are expected to buy. If the conversion line is below the baseline, that's below the black line, then we are expected to sell. However, before you will take any buy or sell, you must ensure that four of these things, they all come together. So if I am to buy this market, price must be above our cloud. So whether it is a bullish cloud or a bearish cloud, price must be above the cloud. And we must have the lagging indicator to be above the clouds and also above our price or candles. And we must have the blue line to be above the black line. Once you have this, any candle that breaks above this cloud, you are to take your entry. Your stop loss will be below the cloud. So just directly below the candle, the cloud that is below the candle. So for this particular one is this bullish candle here. Once you take your entry here, you are to set your stop loss just below the cloud and you aim for one to two or one to three. And the last thing to note again is that you must ensure that the cloud that is about to be formed at the end here, not the next one at the end, you must ensure that it is also bullish. So for this, we would have taken that entry at this particular candle that just broke above the cloud. Because this cloud here is bullish, we have the blue line above the black and for the lagging indicator, the green one, it is above our candles and also it is above the clouds. This is a genuine and a valid reason to take a buy position using the Ichimoku trading strategy indicator. So when are you to take a sell? If I am to check it out for us. You will take a cell in instances like this. You can see that the blue line here is below the black line. And the next cloud, the last one at the end here that is being formed is bearish. So we can take upon any of the bearish candles that you see below the cloud. You will take and you aim for one to two. If you want to see how I did this, I used the buy replay mode and I backtested it. You can just click on the video that I have described for you initially. This is how to add the Ichimoku cloud indicator to your MetaTrader 5. That is your MT5 on your mobile devices. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. Do have a wonderful day. Bye.